Ultrasound diagnosis of ectopic pregnancy. Role of ultrasound. Non-tubal ectopic pregnancy. As previously mentioned, 5% of all ectopic pregnancies are non-tubal. However, they contribute disproportionately to the morbidity and mortality in women with an ectopic pregnancy. We will now describe the different non-tubal ectopic pregnancies, their locations and their ultrasound appearances. 1. Interstitial pregnancy. Ultrasound diagnosis is based on the absence of an intrauterine pregnancy, with the presence of trophoblastic tissue, located outside of the endometrial cavity. That is, in that part of the fallopian tube which traverses the myometrium. Interstitial pregnancies are surrounded by a thin myometrial mantle, or continuous rim of myometrium. Traditionally, these tended to rupture at between 8-16 weeks, because of the greater distensibility of the myometrium, compared to the fallopian tube. These pregnancies are highly vascular with blood supply from both the ovarian and uterine vessels, and when rupture occurs, hemorrhage is profuse. Interstitial pregnancy, the gestational sac is located 1 cm lateral to the endometrium in a woman with a subseptate uterus. 2. Cervical pregnancy. Cervical pregnancy is rare, with an incidence of 1 in 8600 to 12400 pregnancies. Ultrasound diagnosis is based upon an empty endometrial cavity, the cervix is barrel-shaped, and the gestational sac is implanted below the level of the uterine arteries, that is below the level of the internal cervical os. There is an absence of a sliding sign, when pressure is applied to cervix using the probe in a miscarriage, the gestational sac slides against the endocervical canal, but does not do so in a pregnancy implanted in the endocervix. 3. Ovarian ectopic pregnancy. Ultrasound diagnosis. An ovarian ectopic pregnancy may be difficult to distinguish from ovarian germ cell tumors or other ovarian pathology. A high index of suspicion is based upon a combination of ultrasound findings, both grayscale and with color Doppler, as well as high levels of serum HCG and sonographic experience. Nearly a third of women present with hemodynamic instability because of rupture. Diagnosis is based on the classic description of a cyst with a white echogenic outer ring. Ovarian ectopic pregnancies are most often treated surgically. 4. Caesarean section scar ectopic pregnancy. Caesarean section scar ectopic pregnancy seems to be diagnosed more than ever. Ultrasound diagnosis is based upon an empty endometrial cavity, and the gestational sac is located in the lower anterior myometrium, at the level of the previous caesarean scar. As with the cervical pregnancies, the sliding sign is absent. 5. Heterotopic pregnancy and 6. Bilateral tubal ectopic pregnancy. However, the rate may be as high as 1 in 100. Early detection not only prevents maternal morbidity and mortality, but may also permit the salvage of the intrauterine pregnancy. Bilateral tubal ectopic pregnancies are very rare, with an estimated prevalence of 1 is to 200,000. Summary ultrasound diagnosis of ectopic pregnancies using transvaginal scan is not only expected in the 21st century, but should be the benchmark standard for all units involved with early pregnancy ultrasound. Early ultrasound diagnosis of ectopic pregnancies decreases mortality, surgical intervention, and enables non-surgical conservative treatments to be offered. Laparoscopy is not necessary as a diagnostic tool in the modern management of women with ectopic pregnancies. Transvaginal scan is the new gold standard and diagnostic tool of choice for all forms of ectopic pregnancies, both tubal and non-tubal. The vast majority of women who present with an ectopic pregnancy can be diagnosed reliably using transvaginal scan as a single standalone test. Thanks for watching. You indeed learn a point. God bless you. Please kindly subscribe for more. Subscribe.